In one of our previous videos, we talked about how Daron Targaryen would be making his way into the second season of the House of the Dragon. This character is the youngest son of Queen Alicent and King Viserys, but he was absent in the first season of the series. The reason for his absence was due to the fact that Daron is currently in the city of Old Town, serving House Hightower. However, in this city is located a place that could hide the reason why dragons and magic almost became extinct. In this video, we will be talking about one of the most important places in this world, the Citadel and the Maester's Conspiracy. And if you like everything related to the Game of Thrones universe, the House of the Dragon, and the books of A Song of Ice and Fire, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. The Citadel is located in the city of Old Town, majestically positioned on the shores of the Honeywine River. Its domes and towers rise on both banks, connected by stone bridges filled with rooms and chambers. The complex opens with giant green sphinxes, each with the body of a lion, the wings of an eagle, and the tail of a serpent, flanking the gates. Although the Citadel is an old town, it is believed to be a city within a city, with its own laws and customs. The Citadel is divided into four locations, Scribe's Hearth, Weeping Dock, Seneschal's Court, and the Isle of Ravens and Ravenry. Scribe's Hearth is a section where acolytes assist local inhabitants with writing and reading. Books and maps can also be bought and sold here. Weeping Dock is a harbor where boats can be taken to Bloody Isle, a vital hub for short trips in the region. Seneschal's Court is the place where the rectors punish minor crimes committed by novices and acolytes, with a stone-floored hall and high windows topped by arches. The Isle of Ravens and Ravenry is connected to the east bank of the Honeywine by a wooden drawbridge. On the island is the Ravenry, the oldest building on the Citadel. The walls of the Ravenry are covered with moss and vines, and a weirwood grows in its inner courtyard. The White Raven Rookery is located on the West Tower. The Citadel was founded by the second son of King Uther of the High Tower, Prince Permor the Twisted. Despite his deformity, he had a great curiosity for the world and surrounded himself with various wise men. After his death, he was granted vast land to establish the Citadel. House Hightower played a crucial role in its creation and continues to be a major sponsor. A fundamental part of the Citadel lies in its vast library, where an immense amount of knowledge is kept. It is a place of study and contemplation for the maesters and those in training. This library attempts to acquire information on everything from ancient Valyrian histories, original texts of the First Men, tales of wars against the children of the forest, and the conquest of Aegon, letters, and marriage certificates. In short, there was not a more complete library on Earth. It is a place similar to the Library of Alexandria, where all the knowledge of the planet is kept. However, as we mentioned at the beginning, this place keeps a secret, as those who are in charge of it, could be responsible for the extinction of magic in the world. I am talking about the Maesters. Although the Citadel is open to the world, there are books that only a few people can access. You also need to have a certain rank being a Maester, to be able to enter certain places in the Citadel. More than an order of scientists, the Maesters function as a group of spies and wise men, who wish to control the world. The story of the Maesters begins as a gathering of wise men and priests at Old Town, during the early reign of the Hightowers. Nicknamed Paramore's Pets, they were led by Prince Paramore Hightower the Twisted, the disabled younger brother of King Ergen Hightower. After Paramore's death, the king granted land within the city to these wise men, which eventually became the Citadel, laying the groundwork for the Order of Maesters. 
Unlike the ancient guild of alchemists, who claim to possess magical knowledge, the maesters focus on scientific knowledge and despise the beliefs in magic to the point that many have theorized that it was because of the maesters that the Targaryen lost their power, leading to the birth of the great theory of the maesters' conspiracy. In the book A Song of Ice and Fire, we can read how Maester Marwyn mentions that it was thanks to the Maester that the dragons became extinct and I quote him. If I tell you, they may need to kill you too. Marwyn smiled a ghastly smile, the juice of the sour leaf running red between his teeth. Who do you think killed all the dragons the last time around? Gallant dragon slayers armed with swords? If indeed the Maester conspired to destroy the Targaryen, the Citadel was their base of operations, and this mission or plan to destroy magic could have begun long ago. The Maesters knew that the Targaryen were untrustworthy, they had always seen the Targaryen as unworthy people, going against the practices of their religion. For the Maesters and the Hightowers, the Targaryen with their dragons and magic rituals represented a danger to their faith and their very existence. Whether using poison or planning the downfall of the Targaryens through their political influence, what is clear is that the influence of the Maester was largely responsible for the destruction of House Targaryen. Just as the Hightowers may have conspired to acquire the throne of Viserys, it is possible that simultaneously at the Citadel in Old Town, the extermination of dragons and magic was being planned. Now, although we saw the Citadel in Game of Thrones, perhaps that aspect where the Maester's conspiracy is shown, will be seen in the House of the Dragon. Since Daeron is in Old Town, it would be an extremely interesting thing to show the Maester conspiring to end magic. This would be a way to validate this theory that has been around for decades and connect the books to the TV series. Personally, I think the Maesters are keeping a lot of secrets, and I think we'll see some of this in the second season of The House of the Dragon. But tell me what are your thoughts, could it be that the Citadel is the operational base where the fall of the Targaryens was orchestrated? And for more videos from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Before I wrap up this video, I want to let you know that the videos on this channel are based on both the Game of Thrones and the House of the Dragon series as well as the books by George R. R. Martin. If you want to learn more about this universe, I'm going to leave you our affiliate link in the description, where you can order the books or their audible version. And if you like the official t-shirts of this channel, you will also find the link to our store to order your favorite piece. Thank you for your support. And if you liked this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all videos. And for more videos with theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Three-Eyed Raven